Rock on! Rock on! Rock on! We're live. And look, guys. They came. I got my copies. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Have you gotten it yet? Have you gotten your copy yet? Let me know. Yeah, so sweet. We hit number one, Amazon, which was sweet the first night we launched, uh, which was really great. And then, uh, yeah, so we're rolling. We are rolling. And I wanted to come on for our Thrive Thursday and continue on as I normally do um, all these great years later. How many years ago? It's got to be six years. Did I start this six years ago? Pretty crazy. Think about that. Um, and I wanted to share something with you guys, which I think is important uh, about goals. Um, I'm writing up the course curriculum for, um, there's going to be an online course for the Art of Survival Guide. And a large portion of that is goal setting, right? It's the mindset of goal setting. And I run into it so often about starting started projects and, and unfinished projects. And it, it's a huge barrier that people, for some reason, are not able to overcome. By the way, if you haven't gotten the book, you can go there, jamesbarber.com slash ASG and, uh, and grab it. <clears throat> um, it's a huge, huge problem. Mike, Marilyn, Eric, how are you, man? Cassie, Aaron, nice to see you. Um, the idea of starting a project and not finishing it is, is, is a, it's a common thread, right? It's something that I've run into. I continue to run into. I can't tell you how many people I know who sit on unfinished projects. And having a, a, a plan, an actionable plan for your project is really super important. I'll give you an example, a real life example from doing a Broadway show. Okay. I'm hopeful again that Broadway is going to come back sooner than later. Um, I'm, look, the reality is all about finances. I talk about this a lot. As much as we wanted to, as much as we wanted to come back, they're not going to be opening until they're financially stable. They're not going to be opening until they are able to run in a, a fiduciarily, fiduciarily, whatever. Um, uh, profitable way. So, but I'm going to give you an example with a Broadway show. There's a lot of work that goes into even before it begins rehearsal, right? There's the the idea, coming up with the idea, okay, we're going to create a Broadway show based on what? It has to come from somewhere. West Side Story, based on Romeo and Juliet. Okay, good, great idea. We're going to do a musical, contemporary musical, based on Romeo and Juliet. Okay, start start rolling. And so now you're in a situation where you have to <clears throat> write the script, write the music. So somebody's got to do all that, write the lyrics. And if you don't have daily milestones, you're, you're not going to get there. You may get there, but it's going to take you a while, right? So all the work goes into creating it. Let's say we're going to start rehearsal. Script is done. All the money's raised for the for the show. Now, mind you, this is a ton of stuff, right? That I haven't even talked about that we can get into. We're going to go starting rehearsal. Millions of dollars have raised, cast uh, hired, casting directors hired, publicity people hired. All of the marketing and PR things worked out for the most part um, because once you start rehearsal, they're already marketing the show even before you start rehearsal. As soon as people are cast, they're marketing the show. All of these things have to go in place. Where are you going to put the show on? That deal has to be made with a theater. How long are you going to run? When are you going to open? Right. See all the planning that goes into place. The crew, where are you going to build the set? How's the set going to be built? Right. All of this stuff goes in even before you start rehearsal. So let's just start rehearsal. Okay. Well, we're going to take it from that point. Normally, a Broadway show is six weeks of rehearsal. You show up, you have the script, and you start. Now, it's not just willy-nilly. There's a schedule that is put together, depending upon how the director wants to work or the choreographer wants to work. Um, and you're showing up and you're working on scenes from 
the script from the play, from the musical, every single day, one day off a week, every day. And it's broken down. That is a schedule, right? So that you can get to somewhat of a finished project, a, a product by the end of your six weeks of rehearsal. Because at the end of six weeks, you're going in the theater. Whether you like it or not, you're in the theater. And then you start technical rehearsals. Now, mind you, there's a date that is set for opening night. Everything is working up toward that opening night. And a schedule is made and plans are made so that you can get to that point. If there was no plan, there was no schedule, how would that be? Right? How would you actually attain the goal? You could, but you got so many moving parts. How many actors in a show? If it's a musical, how many orchestra members? What about the charts for the music? What about making changes during the rehearsal? <clears throat> and so you can use whatever you want. You don't have to use you know, a pre-made journal. I just do it because I have them. You can do this. One of my daughters gave me this for Christmas. Isn't that cool? I love old school journals, right? I have a ton of them, right? I've shown you guys like this one so many times, right? This, what did I write down? Um, I wrote down a great quote the other day. Let me see if I can find it. When you see light, go toward it, right? Aspiration, inspiration, information. It was from the live stream that I did for Tim Story's launch of his new book, right? So where's your goal? What is your goal? And how do you get there, right? There's so many details that as you start to write it down, you may go, oh, wow, I forgot about that. Oh, wow, I forgot about that. Oh, wow, I forgot about that. It's like when I was writing this book, this is only 90 pages, right? It's not a big book. There's a ton of information in it. This is a ton. This is like a 200 page book slammed into 90 pages, right? And honestly, I could have made it 200 pages. Two things I thought of, speed of getting it out. I wanted people to be able to get it. It took me a year to get it out, right? 90 pages. Now, could it have gotten out faster? Yeah, I could have. I could have. I dragged my feet because I was doing other things. But also, and more importantly, I didn't want to throw so much information in here that people wouldn't do anything with it. How many times have you gone into a project or started working on something and there was so much information you got overwhelmed? There's a great restaurant in, in LA called Jerry's Deli. And for those of you who have been to Jerry's Deli, you'll understand this. Years ago, I uh, used to go into Jerry's Deli and the menu, I'm not kidding you, was like, a foot and a half tall, maybe two feet tall. It was huge, right? Huge. And like this big. And all the writing was like tiny. Hundreds of things on the menu. And we used to joke that once you figured out what you liked at Jerry's Deli, that's all you got. Because it's like reading through all the choices that you have, you just get overwhelmed. So I didn't want to do that in the book. I wanted to, to, to make it actionable because people don't take action. Why don't they take action? They don't take action because they get confused. They don't take action because they get stuck. Why do they get stuck? Because there's no plan. If I were to say to you every day, I'll give you an example, Thrive Thursdays. Every Thursday when I was doing Phantom, every Thursday as I walked back from the theater toward where my transportation was to go home, I did a, I did a live stream every single time. You guys knew who were following me at that point, boom, Thrive Thursday's coming. Thrive Thursdays, every night, consistency, right? It's in the book, consistency in your message, right? So having something that you're doing on a consistent basis and pairing away all of the other choices that are around you. Okay, I'm going to do this one thing right now. 